Kaufman. Listen. Two zero one six. Now this three year old female spit poodle comes in with the main complaint is the armpit, right? Yeah. Armpit uh, scratching. Normally using the hind leg. Uh. So you can see then there's some wounds here. Normally what happened the dog is the hind leg to scratch here and uh, causing damage so the wound is there. And uh, some rashes you can see inflammation. Yeah. Okay then where else? The neck also, she's also scratching the neck. Which is not obvious because it's not uh, not, not often right. Not yeah. often scratching now. Then uh now the body here where there's not, not much fur, there's some weakness, I see. I think the the groomer has a shape bot now, you see? The the the, the rashes here. Okay, relax. Okay. Come, 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 come. There's see pimples here on the on the belly here. And uh, here and there, they are, they are spread already. Okay, so those are most of the bacterial infections. Before going to groomer, it has this, right? Mm. So what happened is, uh, do you brush the poodle every day? The fur? Yeah, grooming. Yeah. grooming. Huh? Because poodles, sometimes you need to brush them every day, you see? Oh, to stimulate the coat and to get rid of all the unwanted uh, hair. So, so anyway, the, the important thing about this poodle is not the, the main problem is actually the ears. Now, from here you can tell there's a rough, roughening of the skin here around the channel. So this shows that this, this poodle has been scratching for a few weeks, right? But not a few years. If it's a few years, this, this will be black and thicken. And, and, and sometimes the poodle will scratch here and scratch the neck. So the main problem is the ear canal. What do you put in? What do you put in? Any eardrops? Uh, no, we use uh, wipes. Okay, now only this ear is worse than the left ear. Now you can see the left ear. Now the clues are again roughening, roughening of the, the ear near the ear canal. And then there's some blood spot here, there, wound. So this is due to the fact that the poodle has floppy ears, so there's no, no ventilation and all the water to get trapped inside. And uh, so many poodles have this problem. Now, owner has to apply ear drops three times a week, some, some, sometimes to clear the dirt inside. Now there's a little bit of pain on it, this one. So the poodle will keep on scratching, either here or below the neck. Sometimes the face is over. No, it's just scratch. So as far as uh, the problem is, it is started from the ears, huh? and uh, as far as below is concerned, because sometimes the poodle, due to the ear pain and irritation, the, the dog scratch here like that, you see. So the paws are sharp, I mean the claws, so it damage the belly. And then once it damage the skin, the bacteria comes in. So you see a bit of rashes here and there. So. Uh, the solution for this dog is either the owner does three times a week ear cleaning and plucking the ear hairs. You see, there's a lot of ear hairs inside. And uh, this ear hairs obstruct the, the ventilation so there's no air going in. Uh. And you, you bathe the dog, right? Once a week? Yeah. So during bathing, the water will have got in, but it has difficulty coming out. Uh. It has difficulty coming out because the ear hairs block the ear canal. You see, it's all swollen. The whole thing is swollen, and, and and let me check the ears. You didn't use ear drops at all. No, we just use wipes. Uh, not even from a pet shop. A pet shop, no. We clean her ear every time we bring her. How often grooming? Sometimes the groomer does it for the owner. Yeah, uh, once see, a week. Uh, once a week, so the, so the owner doesn't have to do it. Uh. But it's painful. You can see that the dog is not too happy with the scope, ear scope. Now uh, you can see a bit of wax inside. But no ear mites because the, the groomer has done a good job cleaning for her, but you still can see the dirt still inside. So it's a big leaf thing, right? Yeah, the ears, huh? Yeah. So so this ear is one. So you can hold it first. Just, just hold it. You just focus on that. So that's one. And then uh, let me check the other ear. I'll check this ear. So, okay. Come. Now this is a very early case uh, for, or uh, this is, this not early case. It's a few few weeks, few months, right? Really. But because the groomer does it every week, so, so it didn't spread to uh, hair loss in the neck, 
and uh, down the years because of the the groomer probably added some antibiotics and some uh, painkillers inside. So the dog, the dog doesn't uh, appear back. Uh, appear back. Uh, okay, no, so now I explain to the owner what is the permanent solution. Now, the permanent solution is that uh, I just demonstrate from here first. Normally, the ear has a canal, it's called a vertical canal. It's a tube. Uh. It's a vertical one there. This tube here. So normally, in, uh, the solution is to cut out this wall, the side wall here, cut out a rectangle piece, so take it out. So in that case, there is uh, no more obstruction because this canal obstructs the drainage and the ventilation. So once you cut off, then even if the, the poodle has a lot of ear hairs, it doesn't matter because this one is open up. Open up like, like the like the sink and the trap. Uh. Open up so when you bathe, everything just flow out and there's no more uh, trapping of the dirt and uh, water causing ulceration. And in that case, the groomer, you, you may not need to go to the groomer so frequently because once it's opened up, then even the, 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 there, is a, there is ventilation. So I'll just draw here. Uh, basically, the surgery is. Okay, this one is the ear canal. This is the ear canal, which is an L shape actually. Uh, the L goes inside. So this canal is a tube. This tube, all dogs have it, but because this poodle is covered because of the floppy ears, I mean, it flopped down, so it cover, covers, covers up the opening. So the solution is to cut, cut the rectangle piece here. Then the cartilage, you cut it up here. So when you cut it out, so the ear canal is open up there. So there's no more here, so it's open up. There's a hole here, the hole is due to the horizontal canal. Huh? So you can see a hole, but this hole is okay, it comes from horizontal canal. So this piece is throw away there, this piece of cartilage. The side wall, huh? So I'll throw away. So now water can then can just come up there. Yeah? So the dog will not be shaking his head there. Now he's he's still shaking. So even even though there's a lot of ear hairs uh, at the side, it doesn't matter because the drainage is drained out. Because now the horizontal canal is able to drain out any uh, the any water. I mean they can't trap anything. It is like human ear human ears cannot trap water because our human ears is horizontal. So it just come out, maybe bathe with it, I mean it doesn't matter. But for the dog, because it's the vertical canal, it's the one uh, trapping it, you see. The dog has a vertical canal and a horizontal canal, whereas the human has only the horizontal canal. So for the human being, we, we, we don't suffer any uh, ear infection or ear pain or ear, ear irritation. Even though some people, they may need to pluck up the hairs uh, because of the hairy ears. Uh. Uh, this poodle has hairy ears, right? This way it goes to my baby, right? Yeah. yeah. So, you save the poodle a lot of uh, ear cleaning uh, as she is still young. And this operation will last until uh, the poodle is very old, uh, I mean, for the life of the poodle. And the thing is, if there's any problem, you'll be only the horizontal canal, which the owner can just put some ear drops to maintain it. If not, then normally there's nothing to be done. See what I mean? Okay.